Gunfire forcing youth football players to run for cover during the middle of a game. Now, thankfully, no one was hit, but as you can imagine, it's left children traumatized. Yeah, the scary scene playing out in Fairfield over the weekend. Let's get to CBS 13's Steve Large live in Fairfield with a chaotic scene and the search for a suspect tonight, Steve. It all happened at this football field, and it was very scary. And video shows 11 year old children running for their lives. Fear on the football field. Video shows these children scattering following a series of gunshots. It was terrifying. Mother Mary Moten's son was on the field. She was in the stands and showed a play by play of the chaos. But you could see like everybody, a lot of people that knew what to do. They just dropped to the ground, but not everybody's been through stuff like that. The fact that it was so close and we didn't know where it was the bullets were flying. Moten says 15 shots were fired in all. Fairfield police say the gunfire came from someone in a road rage incident near the football field. No one was hit and no one has been caught. How important is it to find out who did this? Oh, it's, inc it's incredibly important. Gary Benet lives on the street and heard the gunshots Saturday afternoon. The violence outside his home as children played football next door unnerving. And to have it happen to them, in the middle of the day, you just you just don't expect it. You don't anticipate it and you shouldn't have to live with it. it, it you just should not have to live with that. Something could have happened. Uh, you know, one of our kids could have not been here today. A day of football turned into a frantic scramble for safety. We have to change the conversations with our kids of how to protect themselves if they hear gunfire versus running. Don't take off your helmet. You know, just drop to the ground. These children will be practicing more than the game they love. Now, how to respond to gunfire in case this ever happens to them again. This was the Fairfield Falcon 11 and under football team. They are set to play again next week. Meantime, the Fairfield Police Department say that they do have a vehicle description in this case that they are not releasing publicly right now.